Welcome to episode six of Small Potatoes, a show where we talk about the inconsequential tidbits of life. Remember, it's all fun and games till someone cares. We don't, so it's all fun and games. We're rolling. So here's the chain of events. Hello. We all get together. That's not our intro. Yeah, it's the theme song. The theme song. The theme song. The theme song. the name of the show uh, welcome to the show welcome to the show the show the show everybody's talking about it the welcome show. to the show welcome to small potatoes dun, 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 dun. launching in five four oh my gosh three what? three two one two. already get it three no. two one three two one We're i wasn't here. gonna do one i was gonna do two like you know it's like cooler when computers don't no. say the one three two launch it's like a uh, freddy from my carly and three. Exactly. Two. Exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. Who's <laughs> Freddy? Oh, Freddy. <laughs> Do you guys subscribe to the uh, the fan theory that Spencer is just Crazy Steve who kidnapped Megan and then started calling her Carly? <laughs> Yes, I do now. I didn't know that that was a thing. <laughs> Absolutely. I do now. Never watched the show and the other way, the way that it was intended. It was always that's that's obviously crazy <laughs> new Steve. characters. Do you guys remember um this just reminded me of Drake and Josh, the Drake and Josh episode where they fly from San Diego to LA and it's You mean a new Drake and deal. Josh go Hollywood? You yeah, mean the one. movie that Drake and Josh movie. go Hollywood? The movie. Yeah, the movie. Yeah, you mean the, the movie. Yeah, the movie that came out a year after the show ended? Yeah, where they fly from San Diego to L.A. To Los Angeles. <laughs> hey, I'm going to be honest. For for our Ohio listeners, we know you're out there. Um, for anybody who's in the U- U.K. or France, just so you know, and you've never been to California, Los Angeles is right above San Diego. They are next to each other. It would take longer to go through security and wait for your plane (laughs) than to just drive. They're almost in the same metro area. Almost. (laughs) Almost. Oh, I always thought that was so weird. I was like, "Is what? Los Angeles? Why are they flying? They they must be flying somewhere else." Like, no, they're going to. They're going to. And it was like such an emergency that they flew because they flew to the wrong place, right? Or Megan flew to the wrong place. She was flown to she Denver. Flew. She was the one. They put her on the wrong plane or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, just go just get go her. Drive She's, up right and get her. Yeah. She's right over there. She's right over there. It was a huge emergency. They didn't want to tell their parents, so they got tickets to fly up to LA too, instead of just taking a car. It's like, oh, call an Uber. <laughs> no, yeah, call a taxi. They would have to rent a car when they got there because they didn't have uh, transportation. <laughs> but they somehow got to the airport. They got to the airport somehow. <laughs> So they were like, all right, actually put our car in um, parking for the next couple of days. We'll pay for that. And we also (laughs) need a rental service for when we arrive in L.A. There's so much more work. And the dad, the dad is a weatherman. Like, they were so close that they were in the same broadcast zone. <laughs> like, if she turned on the TV, she would see her stepdad. She would see her stepdad. Or her dad. Her the channels are the, the same. Outside. <laughs> it's the same channels, exactly. <laughs> God. All right. Question. Yes. Question for you two. Mm-hmm. What do you say when someone coughs in front of you? I don't... What do you do? What do yeah. you say? Do you just stare at them? Yes. And... Like, <laughs> I hate that. I don't like that because the evil. Like the evil my life. grandma will go on a coughing fit because she's old, and I'm just sit there and like, you good, grandma? Like, what do I say? <laughs> oh, you know what I hate? Oh, that's you actually what know what you I hate. <laughs> okay, well, like let's talk about any that. any situation of coughing, but like that just makes me uncomfortable because she'll go on like a coughing fit, and I'm like, oh, grandma, no, <laughs> like don't die. You know what? <laughs> but like, what do you say? You know what infuriates me is when someone says. Are you okay? Because yeah, like that's why. the only thing that you can kind of say, but it still is weird. It makes me so it's upset. Like, yeah, the reason I'm why fine. It's a cough. I hate it so much is because if I wasn't okay, if I wasn't fine, you'd know mm-hmm. that I wasn't yeah. okay. I Your would face. make sure, <laughs> not only would I be purple, but I'd make sure that it was the number one thing on your plate was for you to know that I was not okay. <laughs> yeah. You have to explain yourself if someone asks, "Are you okay?" Yeah, I just like coughed in my own spit because I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 
accidentally <laughs> swallowed the spit down my windpipe. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I actually don't say anything because I I hope that people will reciprocate that and realize that they shouldn't say anything when I cough. I hate it. No, see, I don't, no, I don't like that we don't say anything. I need something to be said so we can address the the coughing, like, just the weirdness. I don't know. Know that I'm going to handle it. Don't say anything. At least it's not a matter of, don't say, are you okay? Yeah, no, no. It, It doesn't have to be, like, are you okay? Just something of, like, like, bless you is perfect. It's like, you sneeze, bless you, thank you, we've addressed the sneeze. What a religious person you are. Well, here's the thing with sneezing. It's like, if you sneeze, okay, nothing's wrong. It's just like, bless you, and then you move on. But coughing, you know, it can go on for a second. It's like... <laughs> right. <laughs> and so when that does, you just stare at the person and you say nothing? No, ready? Here's what you oh do. You be you you put on your, your nice boy pants, your nice boy hat, everything, and you say, hey, grandma... Do you need some water? That's all you say. That's all you yeah, say. Yeah, I guess. Unless you're in a, in a car and you can't actually get them yeah, water. Yeah, what if I don't have Then you access. Then you just, you can't say anything. Because are you okay is a dumb question. It's a dumb question because <laughs> it's like, no shit. But have you ever had those, those like cough attacks where that tickle is not going to go away? It's just sitting in the back of your throat and you're fine. You don't have a disease. You're just... It's just the tickle decided to show up at the most in- yeah. inconvenient yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. And you're at church or you're at school. And it's a, it's not just a, a during class. It's like during a serious lecture. And you were like holding it in. But you're crying at this point because the tickle is so real. That it just it's better to just cough instead of hold it in. Or, or when you're with a customer and you have to cough. <laughs> There's run no away. way out of that. You immediately just you run just away. Run. <laughs> You're holding their items. Hold on, gotta go to the back. <coughs> <coughs> I think as a society, we should come up with something to just say to someone as they cough. It doesn't have to be like big or a question like, are you okay? Because I don't like, are you okay either? But Fair something enough. to just address it. The That's all I need to, to be an dr- acknowledgement of the cough. Instead of like just just like oh I'm just gonna look away until they're done, it's it's uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'd say like all right, right exactly. Let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Let it out. <laughs> Let, Let it, it out. out. Slap their back. Yeah, <laughs> doing great. Just be there for moral support. That's all. That's all you can. You do. five star them, and they, <laughs> now they're coughing and in pain. Approximately zero times is slapping someone in the back okay. Because oh. it always hurts. <laughs> always. Nothing stings more than getting slapped in the back. Or just pat it. Honestly, a light pat. The overly aggressive men that give you a hug and then it's like, boom, boom, on your back. <laughs> For the listeners, when we were like, I don't know, 17, 18, Anthony shared with me that he hates that. That he hates the man hug with the back slap. Yeah. And so I made it my business i made it my job <laughs> that every time we hugged i gave him a big old slap on the back <laughs> now the thing is more an annoying or it's like it's like when you're talking to a stranger and then you call them buddy like and you immediately have down like you've addressed who's the more powerful person in the conversation mm-hmm. <laughs> and you've just like, yeah same as the back slap you've created that power dynamic back slap is virtually the same thing Except one, it's painful. Two, it's just weird. Like a, a sl- slap on the back is what is that supposed to mean? Like it's and, okay. <laughs> and 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 I agree with you. But every time I hug a man that I'm not super close to, I it happens. I do it, and I can't help it. Oh my god! It, it, it's supposed to mean like like we are two men hugging, and yeah. we, this can't be weird. So uh, it's not too sensual. Pop, pop, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Because when you hug normally, it's like it's an intimate moment. That's what a hug is. It's way more intimate than a handshake, for example. Yeah, absolutely. But there's no activity because you just hug. Sometimes when you hug another man, I've never noticed this hugging another woman, which is why I really hate hugging men. They need to fill that awkward space with slaps on the back. <laughs> slaps. With activity. That awkward, but you have to, you have to enter an awkward, intimate space. It's the intimacy yeah. that's uncomfortable for them. God forbid it's too intimate. So God. now we have to start playing this, this game of, of tapping, slapping, 
slap back. Smacking. Like, this game of slap ass, this game of slap back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it is so uncomfortable, especially the amount of times it happens. Oh, yeah. It's like, is this a long I, one? I, it's weird. I kind of hate it, but I also am a part of it and like wouldn't ask for anything else. I don't, it's, it's weird. I don't know. I think I find myself slapping the back, even though I Here's- hate the back slap. I still am like glad it's there because like you'll I'll find myself in a hug with another man and go this is weird I need to slap yeah. back but because, like it's so subconscious it's so it's like very and subconscious yeah. and I slap the back and I feel better about it I feel better about the hug Anthony I have a thing for you to do to make it uncomfortable for them for making you hurt yeah so when they smack your back what you can do is you just rub their back no, or do the, <laughs> just do the, a little more into it, like oh, make my hand a claw and do like the back scratch. <laughs> do a little back scratch. On do a little back scratch. <laughs> just make it as much more intimate as possible. Or you do what you would do with a lady and like bring your hands down to his waist and then push away from the hug <laughs> from the waist. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, so nice to see you. Outline his figure. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hands on the hips. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so much weirder now because, like, I don't know. For the last year, for some random reason, I haven't touched anybody. Right. I have come into very little physical contact with anybody. So just the idea of now that's like know, the first thing I'm going to start doing. I know a lot of people have died. I know it's been a real bad thing for a lot of people. But the fact that I haven't had to be unsure whether we're shaking hands or dapping up or hugging... I'm so glad I haven't been in that situation in 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 a year and a year, one year. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. I'm so glad. Did you just say dapping up? Dapping up, you know. I have this problem all the time. Still, what it's called, Spencer. Get with the times. It's Get with the weirder kids. now. We dap up. Sorry, I didn't but, uh, know that. I disagree <laughs> with you, Trevor. It's weirder now because now people have they want to do it and they show mm-hmm. you that it's something needs to happen. But now that mm-hmm. there's no law options, now you're like. Coming up with creative ideas of being like, uh, uh, you gotta like bounce backwards and be like, ah, uh, air five. And it's worse now. Cause before you could just decide. I just saw my grandma recently and we did air hugs. We did air hugs at my mm-hmm. grandma's house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, oh, never wanna do that again. That's like, roll. <laughs> yeah. I would rather have an option to choose fist bumps than just to be like, but uh, and do that awkward bounce. It's, uh, people, so when they get in awkward situations, they tend to, like, bounce. <laughs> like, and just kind of, like, shuffle and be like, I, I hope that uh, fist bumps become the new normal. Like, the new handshake. Because it's more sanitary. Yeah. It's so comfortable. I think those will become cool. I think, because you said that, I think that people will start to fist bump. For those of you listening, a fist bump is when you have a fist that's closed and then it touches another person's closed fist. It'll be see, it'll be see, so you're, cool because of Trevor. You're, be, you're being ironic. You're being ironic by explaining what a fist bump is, but Spencer doesn't know what a dap is. So like, I, I'm not going to sit here and take this. Okay, I'm sorry. I have never heard the word <laughs> dap when being described as like a fist bump. What? No, it's not a fist bump. It's as like a high like, five fist bump. Whenever it's this, when you like, yeah, is. you like slap in, in yeah, this thing. Link and yeah, yeah. has a this name. Is not a visual podcast. Yeah, he just called it dapping up. Is what he called it. <laughs> That's what it's called. Trevor went to Chicago for like a couple of months because he went to college and was like, "Guys, I say za now. I say za. Yeah, stop trying this. You guys want to get some za? I don't say za. And dapping up is universal. And you guys are dumb. Can I also say that I I've never liked. This dapping up, if that's what we're calling it, if that's the word. I've never liked dapping up because I never get it right. I never do the closing around the fingers right. Like, it's just mm. always awkward. And the, then- key, the key is to be super lazy about it. Mm-hmm. And just, like, and yeah. just barely even do it and then release. Yeah, thanks but for it's, the lesson. But the problem Thank is, is sometimes the other person goes for a handshake. Mm-hmm. And you're <laughs> fucked. Or sometimes the other person's like, all right, are we pulling? Or are we just doing the slide? <laughs> or yeah. are we going in for the half hug even? Yeah. Oh, even the, when the half hug is involved? And you're like, no, bro, we're not. When the if half the, hug is involved, then it's like, uh-oh, we're in new if, territory. If the half hug is involved, that is for sure a slap on the back. There's no such thing as a half hug without a slap on the back. Exactly, <laughs> right? That's where it comes in handy. No. That's where we need the back slap. See, when I do that, I do 
I do it, and I, the one slap is the embrace. Right. No more slaps after that. Just embrace, done. I'm intimate. Sorry. And it's a and it's a soft slap. Do you leave your arm at your side. No, 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 no. I like come together with my with my left hand, for example. But I don't. You just slap don't make multiple contact times. with the palm. No, I make contact with the palm once. It's like a here's but the not embrace. Like multiple. Then pats. I let go. Oh god. There's no like, pats. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, yeah, I got you. There's no. <laughs> 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 Wait, guys! I'm getting a spam. Uh, I'm getting a spam phone call. Should I answer it on the air? Yeah, answer yeah, it on the air. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Doxed, doxed. I'm outside. Oh, I'll be right out. That's your weed delivery, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> okay. All right. BRB, guys. We're keeping that in there. Hey. The- <laughs> Hey, I have your delivery. I'm outside. <laughs> did you know? Did you not know we were about to record, dummy? Oh my no, god, this did. guy's ridiculous. He, he told me in the beginning. He's like, I have weed coming soon. <laughs> but you're recording. <sighs> That's so annoying. You knew that you had to leave, and then he gets a phone call, and then after he just miraculously forgets. Oh yeah, I ordered something. Oops. Anyways, um, uh, Trevor, our friend is dumb. He, yes. uh, nobody likes him, and he actually, this, Small Potatoes, just so you guys know, Small Potatoes is actually going to be a podcast between Spencer and I, <laughs> where we discussed, uh, political agendas of, um, famous figures throughout history, mostly through the 17th century. And that's why it's called Small Potatoes. Yeah, because it right. clearly makes sense. I don't we don't yeah. even need to explain it, yeah. um, to you. It's not like you're the listeners are dumb. Yeah, they're honest. not dumb. They know. They know. But then Trevor, um, he called us on the phone one day and he was literally crying. Spencer, so, remember he was crying, oh, yeah. sobbing on the phone. Do you remember what he said to us? Do you remember what he said to us? Oh my god! Yeah, it, it was it was something along the lines of like, I, I just I, just because we're not living in the same place doesn't doesn't mean you can exclude me. Uh, from, uh, from, uh, and, and he couldn't even get out all of the words. It was, it was so, it was so uncomfortable. And he, he called us while he was at, at, literally at a tattoo parlor, <laughs> getting a tattoo with our initials, without our permission, by the way. Yeah, yeah, with, with his initials and then also a heart around it on his right yeah. ass cheek. And we were like, fine, Execured. fine, fine, sure, sure. You can literally join us, fine. participate. But he, and then he's like, and then he's like, I don't understand what that means. What small potatoes means? And we had to literally change the podcast. I don't get meaning it. because of him, not because of you, listeners. Because we understand you understand You're about the, the seventh, seventeenth century political climate. Political. And we understand that you understand that. But century. Trevor did not. Right. What? What's the bit? And that's that's why we're here now. What's the bit? What are we doing? That's why that's why we do what we do today. Slightly <sighs> less smart stuff. Mm-hmm. What? Anyway. Did you get did you get your weed? Mm-hmm. I got so much weed. <laughs> hey guys, it's a prank call. Hey guys, check out the spammer. It's funny too, because I was like, I told Spencer, I was like, in the middle of a recording, I'm gonna get a delivery. So like I'm gonna have to walk away. And I totally forgot. Uh Jesus Christ. Funny. we're all laughing. <laughs> Hey, Spencer. Yeah. Do you have a small potato? I have a very tiny, teeny, tiny potato that I'd no like way. to share with you. Mm-hmm. Do tell. Do tell. Um, I I want to talk about. Actually, Sex, it has it has a lot to do with about you. Now it has me. a lot to do with. Let's what? talk about the good things and, no. the, bad and the bad things that <laughs> may <laughs> be. Let's talk about sexual activity. And oh, I thought you were gonna. Say the small potatoes, but that's okay. Oh fuck! I missed a great opportunity. You did. <laughs> um, I want to talk about how dumb spam emails are, because, like, it's like they're not even trying to know who I am, as a person, and 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 it really is offensive. Do you feel used, no, Spencer? Do you feel used for your for your IP? It's, it's <laughs> offensive to me that I get like spam emails. Saying like, your your ESPN super bracket is is available now for you to do this and that. I don't even know what they even say. It's like something God, that like you're I, not a sports guy. 
We get it. I can't even understand. Yeah, like, or like, hey, check out this car for this much money. And I'm like, how do you not? How yeah, because you're not, a motorcycle guy. We get it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're not how, a car guy. how is there not like a targeted system? The internet knows me. It's tracking my every move. <laughs> how does it not like? Check out these rocks. We know you love them. See, yeah, I would be. That would I be would it. You click, click on that email. I would click on that immediately. But like, it's like they're not even trying hard to like seduce me into clicking the email, and it's offensive. And I. So I you to... do read your email. <laughs> I do read my email. <laughs> this guy's been trying to tell me for weeks he doesn't look at his email. And now he's complaining about the spam email. email. I you read your spam. My... <laughs> you read your spam email. Ooh, new <laughs> spam mail. Did they guess my personality right this time? No? <laughs> no? It's... We'll try again next week. <laughs> I Sorry, spam bots. <laughs> try again another time. I have seven different email addresses. I'm sorry I do not check oh my out God. my... School email. Inbox. You just look at your spam. Yeah, I just look at my spam. <laughs> anyway, I was just wondering if either of you have ever looked at your spam mail. No. And no, I've noticed that. I look at my inbox. Even when you're emptying out your you know, spam you mail, know what's you funny? Like, you're not curious to be like, what the fuck is here? I don't, I've never emptied anything out. Anything, ever. Yeah, you don't delete shit. That's weird. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, why would you delete shit? Why would, are you hiding something, Spencer? I'm freeing up. Space, I am nonsense. Just... Yeah, it's just nonsense. It doesn't exist. It's... If you don't look at it, it doesn't exist. So, yeah, if you delete it, it doesn't exist. <laughs> it no longer the, exists. The small pain in my side doesn't exist. Oh, four years later, it's actually cancer. And if you would have caught it, yeah, you have <laughs> cancer now, Anthony. How do you feel? <laughs> How does that feel? Look, listen, I take pride in knowing that I have so many unread emails. I just like to see that number get higher and higher on my notifications on my phone. Currently, I know some people have beat me. I know I have some friends out there who have higher numbers. But if I look at my email right now, the number that's on top of my email of unread emails is... Drum roll, please. Thanks, guys, for the drum roll. I like your drum roll better. Is That was really good. 60,579. 60, 60,000? That's impressive. What are you? That's impressive. Delete it. Ooh. Congratulations. <laughs> Ooh. And Going for just, six figures. Just imagine how many of your ESPN brackets are ready. Exactly. And you're you... missing out. See, and I feel like that that oh, my that would target Anthony more it, better because he does that shit. I don't know. I don't do that. What do you mean? Yes, you do. You follow sports. You love your fantasy you love football. Fa- yeah, fantasy football. March That's Madness. So- no, no, no. Bracket. No. You know, y- y- your your team. Your the sports team. Uh, your, mm-hmm. your home team. Yeah, your, the one in the city. Look, football is enjoyable. With the jerseys. But they're, they're, there's no, not much more than knowing a couple players, and that's it. Uh, there's not enough. Uh, I don't got no brackets. I know, I know I come off like I know everything about all things. Specifically sports. I know that when you see me, I just scream, this guy's athletic. But actually, I'm going to come onto this platform and let everyone know, I do not have an ESPN bracket. So if you're going to send me spam email, try a little harder. I will say, I will say on a real note, Anthony is better at like talking the guy shit. Oh, like sports absolutely. and stuff than like <laughs> us. us. Someone comes up to me or Spencer to talk about sports. I'm like, no, nah, dude, sorry. That's not I'm my absolute... world. But like Anthony is prepared. Like he actually has something he could say yeah. to any like. I can have a great conversation any, any, with ma- Any man culture stuff that me and Spencer just. Hey, guess what? Fuck, no, fuck all. Anthony's a politician. He he is. That's true. He, he <laughs> He's very, he like knows a lot about different topics and he'll be able to <laughs> like. He makes himself likable for every demographic. Hold his conversation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Women watch sports too, Trevor. Just saying. Um, I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> Women like shopping and makeup. Men like sports and they slap each other's backs. <laughs> they slap each other's backs. Okay, I will say, I don't, I've never been slapped in the back by... A woman's hug. That is true because exactly they're not afraid of intimacy. Is all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, this is all boiling down to toxic masculinity, <laughs> pretty much. But Anthony's better at it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he is better at it. All right, 
I I have another question to pose for you guys. I love this small potatoes segment of just Trevor asking questions. Let's go. This is a genuine question that I'm just asking because I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember the answer. Oh, these are just general Trevor inquiries. These are, yeah, are these trivia questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, this is just something I didn't want to Google. Helsinki. The answer is Helsinki. Hey, welcome to Trevor's inquiries. <laughs> <laughs> no, my question is, what are box tops? Why did we do that? That's the dumbest thing in the You're yeah. so dumb <laughs> for not knowing what box I, tops are. <laughs> can you guys explain to me what box tops were? Because I collected a fuck ton of those, yeah. and I don't remember so, why. Guys, I was homeschooled, so. Yeah, Anthony doesn't know. We heard. <laughs> We already covered yeah, that, that was... subject. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're asking me a question that I literally just don't know the answer to because it made no relevance to my life. All I know is that I cut the box tops off of my cereal boxes, brought them to class, and if I brought enough, we got a pizza party. But who did the box tops benefit? The how the how elitist is this school? <laughs> How elitist. How? Why? So the school, let me just tell you what they are really quick so that he knows what they are so we could continue. Please. You collect the box tops, the school collects them, and the school then sends them back to Kellogg or whatever company. I'm pretty sure it is Kellogg. And then Kellogg gives them money, the school money, for however many box tops they sent them. Oh. So... That makes Box a lot of sense. was basically the government going, we don't want to fund our schools. <laughs> and Kellogg's being like, we can think of something as long as children buy our sugary cereals. Aha. Yeah, that is so crazy to me because it means that you have to have enough money to buy cereals and to buy all of these things. So it just screams elitist as well. Yeah, because Nature Valley bars are so high class. <laughs> They literally are for some people. <laughs> you dick. Some people who might be listening might have not been able to afford Nature Valley bars at all times of the, their lives. All right, fair enough. Actually, just kidding. Most people listening might have been able to. <laughs> Probably the baseline of it, yeah. <laughs> Probably the baseline, but some people weren't. All right, fair enough. I'll, I'll chalk that up to my own ignorance. Yeah, that was... Box tops seem kind of valid. <laughs> okay, so I have a small potato. By all means. Please. I have a small potato, and this one is a real small potato because it's so fucking infuriating. It's not just a, an ignorant question, are you sure? Are you no, going no, to be no, saying an real. ignorant question? <laughs> this is real, and I know everyone, I know everyone in the world can relate to this. Okay, so recently I just embarked on um, a road trip. I went somewhere and I came back. And there was lots of driving involved and you use maps for that. So, my small potato is how can you put something in your destination, whether it's 2,000 miles away or 20 miles away, and you go 90 miles an hour the entire time, <laughs> and yet your arrival time doesn't change. <laughs> Or maybe oh, changes that. by a minute. Don't get it at all. And you're like, and 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 it's uh, and it's still accurate because when you get there, you're like, fuck. That's when they said I would get here, even though I sped. Even though I was trying to race uh, the clock. <laughs> it's uh, when you go 90 miles an hour for at least four hours, you that time has to change mm -hmm. because <laughs> there's no way Google is or Apple is taking into account that you're going 90 miles an hour. Right. Which you shouldn't go, by the way, but let's say you were. dangerous. Let's say hypothetically you were. Hypothetically, you're going 85 to 90 miles an hour in a 65. <laughs> we won't tell. In a residential, let's say you're doing that in a residential. <laughs> hypothetically. Because <laughs> you just, you have to, you, everyone always wants to, to beat their arrival time and to make it less. Look, you need to get from point A to point B, but between those two points is a school zone. <laughs> Just fucking plow through. Zoom on through that. You need you to need beat it. that estimated time of no arrival. Matter what, no matter what. And it never changes. Oh, yeah. It never changes. And it's so, it's, it just makes me so, it, I'm going to have wrinkles because of that. Like, I know that's why I'm going to have wrinkles. Do you ever, though, when it does change, like, by, like, a minute, like, it goes down, like, maybe two minutes, do you ever, like, yeah. feel very smug? Like, as you're driving, oh, you're yeah. like, ooh. 
Yeah. You're like, Whoo! two minutes now. <laughs> All that time I get to save. And then you get stopped at a stoplight and it goes back goes up. Back, right back. Like, no. Fuck. No. <laughs> So literally, like, all of that driving is just playing with the 30 seconds of your arrival time going up and down a minute. Mm -hmm. All the time when I'm driving to work and I'm, like, worried that I might not make it in time, I'll throw the maps on and just see what my ETA is. And it'll be, like, if I say my shift starts at 5, and it'll say, like, estimated time of arrival, like, 5.03. And I'm like, okay, got to speed, got to go 90. <laughs> and I'll get it down to, like, 4.57. And then I'll be like, okay, fuck yeah. Like, I'm at a good pace. Then I'm chilling for a few minutes. And then I look back, and it's like 5.03. I'm like, what Damn the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Um, related to that, another thing that kind of on top of that makes me angry is that no matter how— it seems like no matter how many times you can plan to leave at a certain time, especially for a road trip, especially for a road trip, you just can't seem to leave at that time. And it just— <sighs> Drives me insane. I could put all of my things in the car. Everything's ready. And all I need to do is wake up, grab my keys, brush my teeth, and be out the door. Somehow, we'll be 15 to 20 minutes late every time. Got to unlock the door. Got to find my keys again because I put my keys away thinking I'm done with the door. Where do you think I would be in life it had all my road trips gone according to plan and I left at the same time? I could be making multi-millions of dollars right now. Probably. This butterfly effect could make you a millionaire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I was younger, it was always the the running joke that every time that we went on a road trip, we would always turn around at the first light to go back home because my mom would always forget something. Always. That's great. Yeah, same. The first oh my light, God, same. My mom always, always turn around, yeah. grab her, whatever, her hiking shoes. I don't know, whatever she would forget. I don't know. Maybe it was one of us that forgot something, and I'm being too mean to my mom. But it's always something about my mom. Yeah, forgot. but when the kids when the kids forgot something, it's kind of on the mom. When the you know, like I've I'll be, I've noticed that when the kids forgot something, it was like we don't need it. It's okay. We can just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't need mom it. Mom forgot something. It was always like we have to turn around absolutely right now. <laughs> <sighs> Sometimes I've made it though pretty far. Like, and I'm, like, on the toll road, and it's like, oh, no. This is going to cost money to go back. There's so many things right. involved. <laughs> and that's what's that's the single thing that I can think that's been in the way of making millions of dollars by the time I'm this age. <laughs> the single thing uh, that, you, <laughs> that you're missing. Yeah. Yeah. After reading a bunch of these different, like, billionaires' books, these self-help books. Oh, yeah. Like, I read tons of those. Yeah, I read like, tons okay, of those books. If, yep. if I can just leave on time then then i can be a millionaire yeah the the it seems like the common trend amongst all of those um get rich books which are by the way amazing buy them all if you ever see someone advertising buy it buy it i promise Guys, support big businesses yeah support them um the number one thing it's always normally the last chapter or like the chapter right before the reflection it's always make sure you leave for road trips on time and that you go n n above 90 the whole time to beat your time and, and never stop to pee. <laughs> Says that exactly. I, I'm paraphrasing, obviously. I'm not trying to get, um you know, co any copyright infringements, but it, it I mean, like, if you're looking up Dave Ramsey, yeah, you know, or that's what any type of, Ray like... Ray Dalio, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, something like that. I don't know who either of those people are. It's because you don't, you don't yeah. make, you clearly You're don't make clearly not going to be a millionaire. <laughs> I've never heard either of those two names in my life. Clearly Trevor will not be rich. <laughs> I've never heard of those people. Box tops. What are those? Box tops. <laughs> We're doing the show for you. Okay, Trevor. Oh like, God. let that be enough. This podcast is for me to ask you guys questions. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> clearly. Yeah. <laughs> This is just for you to, like, learn some things. Throughout the week, I just write down any random thought or question and bring it to the show, whether it works with our premise or not. I'm glad that I'm you don't care. bring the questions to you guys. I'm glad that it, as long as it hits the, it could be anything that you come to the show with that. And you don't even try a little bit. That makes me feel really good. I'm glad that makes you feel good. I'm glad you're glad. <laughs> uh...